as for Kansas weather, Lawrence has had nearly two inches of rain since Sunday. It's expected to continue throughout the week. And KUJH reporter Lauren Davidson has more on what the rain could mean for farmers. Typically, the rain improves growing conditions for crops, but when fields get too much rain at once, it could lead to the loss of a crop. Douglas County Director Marlon Bates says for farmers who have already planted their crops, this week's rain could negatively affect their growing season in more than one way. They're not being productive for us. They're not helping us meet our market time windows whenever we need to have those crops available for sale. Uh, but it also can be bad because if that extended period of time uh, becomes injurious, then we can, we can certainly lose the entire crop. On the other hand, for farmers who haven't planted crops yet, Bates says it's critical for farmers to get things such as broccoli and cabbage planted as soon as possible. Uh, there are some crops that really it would be necessary to start uh, calling it crunch time on whether or not you're going to get that crop into the ground uh, within the next probably two weeks. Farmers will have to wait until the soil dries out before they can begin planting crops. While some may think this rain is setting things back, Bates says there's a rainy season every time farmers are planting, so they're used to working around Mother Nature. Lauren Davidson, KUJH News. The rain's expected to continue throughout the week. Luckily, farmers say they're used to unpredictable rainfall.